You recently said, surprisingly recently, that GPT-4 was the dumbest model any of us will ever have to use again. But GPT-4 can already perform better than 90% of humans at the SAT and the LSAT and the GRE, and it can pass coding exams and sommelier exams and medical licensing. Yeah. And now you just launched GPT-5. What can GPT-5 do that GPT-4 can't? First of all, one important takeaway is you can have an AI system that can do all those amazing things you just said. And it doesn't, it clearly does not replicate a lot of what humans are good at doing, which I think says something about the value of SAT tests or whatever else. But I think had you gone back to, if we were having this conversation the day of GPT-4 launch and we told you how GPT-4 did at those things, you were like, oh man, this is going to have huge impacts and some negative impacts on what it means for a bunch of jobs or you know, what people are going to do. And, you know, this is a bunch of positive impacts that you might have predicted that haven't yet come true. Uh, and, and so there, there's something about the way that these models are good that does not capture a lot of other things that we need people to, to do or care about people doing. And I suspect that same thing is going to happen again with GPT-5. People are going to be blown away by what it does. Uh, it's really good at a lot of things. And then they will find that they want it to do even more. 